Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, where I must have come from that direction. I would imagine so. That direction is... There is another direction that's closed off to me. Yes, this way. It is clearly too far. Um... But is this the way forward? The problem that happens if you stop playing a game for like... A week. And then you turn around and you're like, where the hell am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? Who even are you? Um... Okay. Uh, unlike the Mandalore and the people that reside within it. This is not the way. But essentially the main goal here is we still are uh, searching through this Zephyr, Zepha tomb. There might still be something we can acquire. Even if it's not necessarily the artifact. The artifact which apparently has been stolen by the... Well, stolen. Uh, acquired. Oh. That is where I'm going. Alright. Uh, acquired by the second sister. I noticed something while examining the sarcophagus. What it's did you notice? It's a convenient location to dispose of nuisances. You lured me here. Was this your plan all along? You truly have the wits of a scrapper. Yeah, this this sarcophagus is placed in a very, very odd location. Also, is she essentially going to be throwing Don't out her... Don't let him escape! Stop running! Death comes for you! Um, let's get rid of... Jedi, again. Oh, okay. Uh, nope. I should choose to between attack or defend, but not both. Uh, stim, please. There we go. Yes. There we go. Don't let him escape. Death to the Jedi. Ah, my lightsaber. I need that for lightsabering. Um... Ah, now is where I learn pull. Okay. Where is the Force? Everywhere it is within me, it surrounds me. Just so. It connects you. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You will feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there, out of reach. You remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around you, and summon your weapon. You know, on one hand, I suppose, like, the story makes it make sense. But then on the other hand, I'm spending most of the game unlocking these more or less basic Jedi tricks. Forces within you. Pull, around push. You, connecting you to your weapon. Like, I start off with the ability to slow down time. And then I learn how to push things with the Force. The force is with me. It connects us. Pull up, yeah, pull up, so. pull up. Yay!
Is this... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is this moving? Anytime a giant sarcophagus hanging off of chains is moving, I would imagine that's a little bit disconcerting. Huh. Wait a second. Uh All right. So now I can pull things towards me and then throw them. At the same time, I feel like th this kind of not part of your plan. Luckily, I always allow contingencies. Like uh this the game itself try explains itself in a manner that is meant to be slower paced. That is meant to be a slower pace so that everybody is on board. So if you threw all of the controls at somebody, raise the spire of Merkel? Raise the spire of Mictral. Slightly different. Oh, all right. Because now I've got the pull ability, which will allow me to Cal has healed his connection to the Force. New skills are available. Which is exactly why I held on to all of my skill points thus far. So I could immediately increase my maximum life. Cal recovers additional life when using Stim Canister. I will definitely want that, but let's see what else has shown up. Delay Thrust, who cares? Perform a special attack when switching his lightsaber type. Uh, okay. Ultimate Force Attunement. The power of friendship. The BD1 Slim Canisters completely refill your force meter. Ooh. I'm going to have to say for that, um, but for now, I'm going to go for better stims and more force. And let's rest a little bit. I guess certain enemies just don't have the power to respawn. They're just gone forever. Alright, so now that I have the pull ability, I'm able to head back the way I came. And then this also means that I can go back to previous planets to... Oh, hello. Ah, that's pretty awesome. Destroy him. <laughs> also awesome. We'll catch you eventually. You can't overpower us. Can I? This was mine. Damage. Keep your distance. Hmm. Someone else get in here. Oh, yeah, they explode. Good to know. This is why I need those extra stim powers. Uh, am I able to pull these guys? Ah, that's why I couldn't. That's why I couldn't push them, because there was nothing to push out from. 
Ah, uh, they could only be pulled against. All right. And now I can jump this gap. Hmm. For some reason, I was expecting that to do something. Wait a second. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Ah, how rude of you. Ooh, a purge trooper. Ah, uh, but I did not throw him fast enough. Oh my gosh. Another step. He's evading. Okay, let's go after this probe droid. <laughs> All right. Um, now I can go farther back this way. I think. Or not. Ah, okay. I can go this way. Because this leads me to. Okay, now I can tie this in place over here. Almost as if they were expecting somebody to learn pull in this particular area. Is that some sort of beast thing? That's some sort of beast thing, isn't it? This was an offering to the sage bear here. At the time it was considered precious. Ah, hello. Ah, how very rude of you. How did he get in here? How did anybody... How did these beasts get around this location? All right, so I need to raise the spire. Which probably requires me to do some moving around this place. I think. So that is, I think, where I came in? Or was... Never mind. That is uh, where I fought the beast thing. That's where I came in. Okay. You'll pay for that. Will I? <laughs> okay, that was sloppy, I admit. But it did get the job done. Hmm. Should I be resting at this? I will. Eh, I still got four stems. I won't. But I'll at least stop by this meditation point. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, die, ancient guardian of the tomb. You know, his attacks are very ineffective if they're just kind of squaring off like this. Oh, 
Wow. Immediately. Ah. Trust me, Lord BD. BD. Up here. Okay, that's all it really did. Hmm. Ah, oh, but now I have access to... Oh, hello. How did you get up here? Ooh, now he's doing three scans where he usually does one. Uh, votive candles. What's this? My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. It seems these candles were offerings brought into this tomb in exaltation of the sage Mictrul. At first I believed them vo votives to the life wind, but the further I delve into this tomb, the less the evidence supports this. And yet there is one gift that intrigues me. Statuary of Zepho holding circular objects much like spheres. Though much of his tomb is well preserved, these are uniformly destroyed. Hmm. Also, what's in the chest? What's that, D? New lightsaber material. All right. I was expecting that to have to do something different. Huh. I'm gonna have to attach that to something somewhere with someone. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, I grab this, yank this way over here. And then, I can hop back up here, grab one of those votive candles. And toss it right at that chain. But I don't know what that actually gets me. Oh, uh, hold on. There is a waterfall in the way. Can I take the votive candle way back to the other side here? The answer is no. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do something about either the waterfall... Or the chain. Well, at the very least, that cord doesn't really care about the fact that I just shoved a giant block through it. See, that makes that a whole lot easier. But now that I can fight... Now I can pull him out of his body.
like like my initial frustrations in regards to fighting this guy were entirely based on the fact that the previous skills this game had taught me were doing me no good. I had not reckoned, or at the very least, I had not recognized that the push requires a hole to be on his back. Um, let's see if we can climb up here and do stuff. The answer is... Yes. Where does that take me? What do I do with this? Now that I have this... Where do I go? Hmm. Maybe I pulled that, that chain a little bit prematurely. Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. Ow. Stand and fight. You are weak. Um, targeting cursor, can you please stay on the bad guy I'm fighting? That would be very nice. Uh, stem, please. Excellent. Hmm. And this is just a path downward. Eh, sure, why not? Vines? They're the only thing holding that chain together. Wow, I would have never guessed. Wait a second. Can I grab one of the lights from over here? The answer is no. It feels like I should be doing something about the waterfall, but at the same time... Oh. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna slide down this slide and see if that allows something to click inside my head. This just seems to be the way back somewhere. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there was a vine I missed way up top. Hold on a second. Okay, I've gotten back up top here in order to access this vine, which takes me... Here? What good does that do me? The p 
puzzle extends itself. Ah, uh, but I can't probably take any of the candles through this space because there is a slight degree of... Oh, there I can take it right through there. But I can't take it through here because there is a slight amount of water. And then there is water over here. I feel like this is uh, the kind of puzzle that um, showed up in the uh, Tomb Raider uh, reboot. Like, one of the very first puzzles in that game was just, like, managing the transportation of fire. Ooh, hello. And you had, like, a... Like, one of the first things it teaches you in the game is the ability to take a torch. And, uh, carry it around with you and realize that uh, if you carry said lit torch... What did that do? Uh, if you carry said lit torch through, uh any path of water, it would be diffused. Hmm. Wait, I think I figured it out. I think I still have figured it out. Let's go hit that button again. Now is this... Now it's just gone. So it just, it turns off that field. But what is... There we go. And this enables me to get this chest, which has absolutely nothing to do with this puzzle I'm trying to solve What's in the main room. But now the Mantis has a sweet new paint job. Kind of like a really dark green. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this is a feature. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh jeez. But I also have no idea where the game expects me to go from here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I have no idea what that was. It was... Oh jeez. How do I get back to the main area? Oh, the screen was very dark, and I could not see the wall directly in front of me. But still, wow, that was, um... That was a sight to behold. Okay, and for some reason I haven't been through this door. So maybe going through here will help me to some degree. Ah! This 
was lit as a sign of respect and reverence for the sage buried here. That candle specifically. Ah, hello. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see the, uh... The bad guy right in front of me. I was just trying to interact with the puzzle. go. And also, let's use a stem. Might as well. Ah, almost heals. Almost. Um... Is this a falling water supply? That will prevent me from carrying a candle from one end to the other? I mean, I'm hoping the answer is no. Hmm. Though the game seems to think that I should be able to do this. Hold on. There are climbing branches. The game wouldn't provide me with climbing branches if it didn't intend for me to use said climbing. Right? Are there more aspects of that gate, like, uh, around here? Either way. Oh, okay. So, all I did was I, uh, lowered... I opened the gate in order to get to the other side. But really, I should have thrown the lamp through first. Oh. And it's already been destroyed. Excellent. These this this place is just highly flammable. Remains of a Zepho soldier. They were killed for stealing an offering to the sage. Okay, I still have to figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong with the puzzle. I'm clearly not paying attention to something directly in front of me. Wait a second. Okay, now I figured it out. Now I figured it out. I just grabbed the candle... Curl the candle into the direction of the energy thing. Then... Reacquire the candle. Burn the chain! Easy peasy. Took way too long, but that's okay because because I did it. Yeah. But what did I find that clearly the Empire did not? I hear you, Beatty. Let me. Here it is. I have finally found an intact representation of this sacred Zepho artifact. My friend, look closely. This is Mictrul at the Vault Umbergano. You can see an object in their hand. Based on this imagery, I believe this object allows a Force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the Vault. This is the key and the guide. The Zepho Astrium. 
But who would destroy images of it and why? It requires more research. However, our next step is clear. Find an astrium, if any still exist. An astrium? You ever heard of it? Me neither. But a key. Yeah, I understand that. Looks like we know what we have to find. All right. Oh, hold on. It appears that we have surfaced somewhere. Excellent. Now let us meditate and heal up and recover and reacquire our stim canisters. We're going to hold off on spending this skill point until we can get all three skill points which enable uh, BD's uh, stims to fill my force meter because that definitely does sound useful. Actually that and the, the style switching sounds useful. How much did the style switching cost? One point. But I can't get it because I need to get the delay combo and the delay thrust. So it essentially costs three points then. Very good, Padawan. You've cleared the way. What are you talking about? <laughs> I needed this tomb raised. And now that I have what I need, you're of no use to me. Can you reverse what she's done? <laughs> Thanks. Hope this new encryption keeps her out for good. Excellent. Oh, an upgrade. A probe droid processing unit. What's it like hacking other droids anyway? Yeah, I feel weird about hacking people too. For a good call, Cal, though, right? Cal, you hack people to pieces all over the place. BD1 can control damaged Imperial probe droids. All right. Also, let's check out this new material. Uh, new material is Haitian Smelt. Alright. But I don't think I was able to get any other new materials. Or new parts. I'm still looking for new colors for the lightsaber. Though, I've only got three options, so I might actually not... We should check in with the Mantis. Trilla probably knows where they are. Sure the comms fixed they're not answering there we go we need to get back has uh ser uh betrayed us so quickly jeez this level is a bit big just just a little bit on the big side. Around. Think it's some kind of trap? Yes. Seems like we've been walking into a lot of them lately. Wait, do you hear that? Do you hear that? The sound of a trap around the corner? Hmm. The ominous music. Although, does this lead to... That leads to that elevator, but also to this door that 
I couldn't open, but now I can swing on that vine, so maybe I can actually get access to it. Of course. Definitely not my job as a stormtrooper. There we go. What did that give me access to? Ah, a chest. It's clearly a chest. See what you found. Good. Orid Oridium. So that will just take me down there. Like, it feels like backtracking. Ooh, hello. I guess I don't have to try harder because you're dead. So we'll run across here, jump to there, and then that should enable us to get access to this uh, cable. Imperial officer hid a valuable relic here. She's hoping to use it to gain favor with the Emperor, but her deception was making her reckless. Um, I presume that's going to be, uh, Officer Crane. Sheesh. How the hell do I get back there? Alright, it's gonna take a minute. I think I'm just gonna... Skip around a little bit. As long as we're careful and pay attention. Enemy! Enemy here! Yes, as long as you're careful and paying attention, everything will be a-okay. Though, I've been to this meditation point before. I know where I am, vaguely. This is uh, right below the landing platform. Which makes this a lot closer. Reinforcements are dead. Oh, hello. Oh, those are just puzzle elements. Never mind. We can forget about them. Can you please? That won't kill me. You're no match for the brute. Who the hell is the brute? Uh, sir. You can't win. Sure, I can. Ah. 
Was that an instant kill? Great. Oh, nope. That was a that was a plot point. Okay, if that if that was just going to be an instant kill, I was going to be kind of annoyed. BD, where are we? Oh no, BD's not with you. BD one. Hello, buddy. Where are you? And also, oh my gosh, your lightsaber. You'll have no choice but to punch people to death. My lightsaber gotta find a way out of here. Wherever here is. Hmm. Well. He was expecting traps. Or can I pull that? I can't. What good does that do me? Oh yeah, I can't access a map because I have no BD. Is that a power cable? Um Then I'll hook this power cable up to Something? You know, if I yank enough of these walls off... Will it eventually provide me with something to attach? Something there we there. go. Yay! Escape is ours! Here's cold. Stale. Might be that deep means that there is... Might be deep underground. Might also have, uh... Some Dark Lords of the Sith waiting around some corner for you. Yeah. Plug this in here. Ah, uh, I need BD for that. Hmm. And for that. If I have different plugs connected to any given outlet... Nope, that does not stretch far enough. What does it do? Oh, the right side has power, but the left side does not. But the left side I need BD to fix. Unless...
What does that do? Like, I would imagine there would have to be some... Oh, hello. Some manner of point to... Once again. Ah? Uh? That did something. That did something. Door A door opened up where? Probably right here, which leads to this area that I could push open. All right. Let's see if I can find a way out of here. That would be very convenient. Or also if I could uh, find my lightsaber. And possibly Feels like being watched. It's probably because you are being watched. I would imagine, uh, yeah, of, of anybody who would say like, hey, I feel like I'm being watched. A Jedi is probably... Are they just discarding corpses into this pit? <laughs> ah! It's BD. Find here? BD? BD what? Is that you? I found you. Are you okay? <laughs> Let's get you out of there. All right. And then I will take this and do what with it? Can I swing it over to that side? Um, what has this gained me? Other than an appreciation of life. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, and now I can grab that again, plug it in here, and then hopefully this will allow me to drop down. And recollect PD, who is completely just as functional as hey. I had left him, and not oh, stripped for parts. Too. Let's get that restraining bolt off of you. Droids. Let's get out of here before the same happens to us. Droid jail. Oh, hold on. Over here, BD. Slice and dice. What would I do without you? Something else? Also, why is there now an energy shield there? Ah, more slicing. We gotta get through this way. Ah, and now I can have BD uh, overcharge this thing. Which turns it on, which enables me to take this. No, I don't want that. Which enables me to take this, plug this in here. 
and then hop on this elevator. Reacquire my lightsaber? Or... Sounds like someone is home after all. Or... Hey, I recognize this band. Alright, I, I think this is where we're going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.